I think I did growth around 1994, which coincidentally, 1994 was the first year I placed at a junior national show. So did growth hormone have something to do with that? Maybe, you know, could be. Um, and then a few years after that, insulin came along. And uh, I was doing insulin for years before I turned pro in 99. And that, uh, that's a very powerful drug, insulin. But it's also a drug that can kill you, you know? And I have a few stories about that, too, so. Well, I'm kind of <laughs> interested about this. Uh, what type of stories do you have about that? Uh, well, there was one time uh, I would take insulin in the off-season, and I'd take it with growth and with the anabolics. And it's a great drug for size and to shuttle, you know, aminos and glucose into your muscle cell and it's definitely good for size and for your pump off season great pre-contest it's kind of tricky you know because you're cutting your calories down you're not taking as many carbs and i think it was a ye two years maybe the year before i turned pro and uh I had take too much insulin and I had like an episode at my house. Thank God I had a girlfriend that was there with me that actually kept calling like the 911 or the fire department, fire department and EMS and police showed up at my door. I was fishing out on the ground. I remember because insulin, your blood sugar gets so low on insulin that you could literally fall on the ground face down, wake up looking at the ground and then, you know, think to myself, okay, I, I need to get up and I need to get some carbohydrates, some sugar into my system. I'd have my oatmeal sitting on my table and then as soon as I stood up, the amount of sugar it took to get me off the ground, I'd fall right back down again. So, uh, like I said, thank God I had a, a girlfriend that was there because I was throwing dishes around and getting like erratic and stuff. And then uh, the EMS came and the police came and... Uh, it was a it was a bad scene, you know, because if she wasn't there, if I would have hit the deck and, and not got up, I mean, I could have went into a coma or possibly died. What did you think of the impacts of like generic growth hormone versus versus like legitimate growth hormone? Like, well, and would you say it's really like pres like a merit prescription is that much better than say like well talk? Well, let me back up because cool. Let me back up to '94 when I first took it. Back then, uh, the only growth that I could really find was uh, was Humatrope, and that was made by Lilly, and that was a uh, that was an actual. American pharmaceutical growth hormones. So, and they did fake that. But I mean, if you got a good eye, you can tell. You know, between a real label and the boxing and the inserts that comes with growth. So, I mean, I only got real uh, growth. You know, I think I had a good enough eye to to spot the the bad stuff. Uh, the doses I started with were probably about two to four I use every day. Maybe about four days on, one day off. Um, but growth hormone, there's a there's another amazing drug, you know. A lot of people take that now for, you know, kind of like the fountain of youth kind of thing. Um, steroids will make your muscles grow and get stronger, but they won't make your ligaments or your tendons grow. So there's a danger there that you're going to injure yourself. Growth hormone makes everything grow except for your brain and your eyeballs, I heard. Um, so it's a, and it's an amazing drug as far as uh, transforming your body. Uh, steroids call it cause uh, hypertrophy, which means the muscle cell grows bigger. Uh, human growth hormone causes hyperplasmia, which means the muscle cell divides and you actually have more muscle cells to, to grow and get bigger. So you can actually get bigger on growth than you possibly ever could on all the steroids you could ever possibly take. So that's uh, kind of an exciting aspect of it. How much of the impact did you notice from the growth hormone at first and long term? Uh, at first, it's really, you read so much stuff about you're going to gain all this weight, uh, but the main thing you notice is you get more muscular. Your body fat comes down, you can eat a tremendous amount of food, and your body fat will still get down. It kind of turns you back into being an 18-year-old kid, where you can just eat pizza and cheeseburgers and candy and gallons of ice cream, and you still have a six-pack and, and veins. You're telling me I can be pros, eat cheeseburgers and candy? And yes, stuff yes, yes. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So what, um, like the off-season eating, you know, what percentage would you say was standard clean eating? And how much was just getting like cat, like McDonald's, you know, day four was McDonald's burger a day. Right, you know? and I, I subscribe to that uh, technique every once in a while. I mean, especially when I was on growth hormone, I would go to McDonald's, I'd probably get about 12 hamburgers and... Uh, you know, put three burgers on one bun, you know, and then eat, you know, th four of the, uh, of the triples, you know, and I do that a couple times a week. And on growth hormone, you can still, you know, stay shredded on that, you know. I wouldn't do it every day, but once a week. Um, but, yeah, growth hormone allows you to keep your body fat down and still eat a tremendous amount of food.